Former Michigan State basketball star and Detroit Pistons draft pick Martin Cleaves scheduled to turn himself in Thursday morning. Cleaves is facing sex assault and unlawful imprisonment charges stemming from a night out in 2015. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville has been working this story in Genesee County and he talked to someone claiming to be a witness that night. This case, we're told, was turned over to Wayne County and they started their own investigation from scratch, but it will still be tried in Genesee County. We also had the chance to talk to the attorney for Mateen Cleves. He says his client is innocent, calling the release of these charges right before the NCAA basketball tournament completely unfair. If he did not commit a crime, but did he have sexual relations with this woman at any point? I can't get in. I can't get into that. But I will say, I will say this: that any contact Mr. Cleves had uh, with anybody that night would be totally consensual. It's what allegedly happened behind this door, room 121 of the Knights Inn in Mundy Township, that has Mateen Cleves' reputation and freedom on the line. Prosecutors say the 39-year-old favorite son of Flint held a 24-year-old Mount Morris woman against her will and sexually assaulted her in September of 2015. His attorney says those accusations and charges are outrageous. The allegations have been catastrophic to his career. These allegations. Mr. Cleves is a giant in our community, a man who is humble, a humanitarian. This all allegedly happened after a charity golf outing and night out at the bar. Cleves was the co-host, the accuser, a volunteer there. 7 Action News talked to someone who claims to be a witness there that night, claiming the woman tried to escape the room more than once, but was chased down wearing little to no clothes. We're told the same could be said for Cleves, also claiming it was caught on surveillance. Cleves' attorney was quick to dismiss. There's huge credibility issues in a number of these witnesses. We've talked, we've had investigators out uh, on this case, and I think the only uh, version that's going to be true is Mr. Cleves'. The owner of the Knights Inn tells us detectives looked at the surveillance system, but wouldn't say if it led to any evidence. In Monday Township, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News.